In this video, we're going to look at a, an example of finding the intersection of conic sections algebraically. But let's go ahead and look at the graphs of these. Um, can you picture what these graphs are? Hopefully you know what they are. Here we go over here on Desmos. We've got x squared minus y squared over 7 equals 1. We have an x squared and a y squared with only one of them coefficient being negative. That's our friend the hyperbola. And x squared plus y squared equals 8. That's a circle. So kind of picturing these shapes can help you visualize how many solutions there are going to be. So algebraically, we are looking for four solutions. Let's not give away the surprise, although you could just go to Desmos and look. But let's do it algebraically. All right, so in this example, I think uh, it's a great example of where elimination is the best way to go. You really have two choices with these, which is substitution or elimination and actually substitution is fine too on this one it's not bad because you could just solve this for x squared and substitute it over there that's fine but I kinda wanna show elimination just to show an example so alright if I wanna get these x squareds to drop out all I really need is one of them to be negative alright so maybe I'll take this equation right here and multiply it by negative one and write it underneath there. All right, so I'd have negative x squared plus y squared over 7. Now, maybe a better way to write this is to think about what the coefficient is here. What is the coefficient on y squared if it's y squared over 7? What's the coefficient? You got it? It's a fraction. What is it? 1 7th, right? Okay, I know fractions are okay. Don't be afraid. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Okay, so when we add these two together, these x squareds are going to drop out. We're going to add these two equations together. We're sort of like combining like terms here. These x squareds are going to drop out. We have 1y squared plus a 7th y squared. That's 1 and 1 7th. We have 1 and 1 7th y squared. And 8 take away 1 is 7. All right, 1 and 1 7th, that's the same as 8 sevenths. So to solve for y squared, it is quadratic, but it doesn't have a y term. So I don't need to use the quadratic formula or any of that. I can just isolate the y squared and then take the square root of both sides. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. And that's going to give me y squared equals 49 over 8. Take the square root of both sides. Remember here we have to do the plus or minus. So I get plus or minus. Now the square root of 49 is 7. 8's not a perfect square, but it is 4 times 2. So I can write this as 2 root 2. Now you may have instructors that want you to rationalize the denominator. I don't care about that. All right, We can just leave it like that. So just for fun, let's leave this in exact form. Let's say we were supposed to find the exact points, not the decimals. Um, to check out decimals, we'll, we'll do the decimals of this. So let's, let's get the decimals just so we have them. So let's punch this into our calculators. Let's see. I'll write the decimals in green. So y is approximately, do 7 divided by this. Make sure when you're punching this into your calculator, you have parentheses around the 2 radical 2. So you're dividing by both those things. All right, you should get 2.475. 2.475, yeah, positive. One positive, one negative. Okay? All right, we'll just kind of keep that in mind for when we go look at the decimals graph. But let's, like I said, let's do it exact. All right, so now we have to find x. We have our y values. Now we have to find our x values. So let's just start with y equals 2.475. We're going to go back to one of our two original equations, and we're going to plug, uh, actually, I, I want to do the exact value. I just said I wanted to do the exact value. I still want to. So we're going to start with 7 over 2 radical 2. Okay, I'm not going to do the decimal. And we're going to plug that back into, let's do this one. Let's plug it into the x squared plus y squared equals 8. So I get x squared plus 7 over 2 root 2 squared equals 8. All right, so squaring a fraction is easy. You just square the top. Oops, that should be a plus. Square the top, 7 times 7. Square the bottom, 2 times 2 is 4. 
radical 2 times radical 2 is radical 4, which is 2. All right, o equals 8. So I have x squared plus 49 eighths equals 8. Now I want you to notice something. I didn't bring this up, but we were trying to find out what y squared was, right? Well, check this out. <laughs> Tells me right there, y squared was 49 eighths. All right, so when I did y squared, look at that, 49 eighths. All right, so if I was working a little smarter, I could have just put 49 eighths in there for y squared, but I just want to show you how that worked. Okay, so we need to subtract 49 eighths from both sides. Uh, maybe we'll write 8 as 64 eighths. That'll make it a little easier. 8 is 64 eighths. 64 eighths. Okay, so now subtracting 49 eighths will be a little easier because we have a common denominator. Remember, I want to try to keep things exact here. So I'll bring this up here. So now I have x squared equals 64 minus 49, which is 15 eighths. And if I take the square root of both sides, I get plus or minus the square root of 15 eighths which is the square root of 15 over the square root of 8, which is 2 root 2. So we could leave it like that. This one might look a little better rationalized. I don't really care if it's rationalized, but I'll show you how it looks a little nicer. If I multiply the top and bottom by square root 2, on the top I'll get square root 30, plus or minus square root 30, and on the bottom, root 2 times root 2 is 2, times 2 is 4. See, that looks a little bit nicer. All right, so what did we learn here? Well, we learned x could be the square root of 30 over 4, and y would be 7 over 2 root 2. Or x could be negative square root 30 over 4, and y would be 7 over 2 root 2. So there's two of our intersection points, okay? Now that's all done over here, letting y be positive 7 over 2 root 2. So technically, what we would still need to do is we would need to find out what x is when y equals negative 7 over 2 root 2. And I know you're thinking, oh my goodness. But I have some good news. What's going to happen when we plug negative 7, negative 7 over 2 root 2 into this equation? You see this over here? The same thing's going to happen, right? Because a negative squared is a positive. So if I plug in negative of this number, I'm going to get the same exact answers I got over here. If you want to do it all out, you can, but after you square this with the negative, it's going to be the same exact thing as we have on this step. So all the answers are going to come out. This is going to come out to be uh, square root 30 over 4 plus or minus. Okay, so what that tells me is if x is positive square root 30 over 4, y could be negative 7 over 2 root 2. And if y is negative square root 30 over 4, excuse me, x is negative 30 over square root 4, y is negative 7 over 2 root 2. So there's our four intersection points. Let's see uh, what our x value is as a decimal. So our x value is square root 30 over 4. If you punch that in your calculator, you get plus or minus 1.369. Double check me, punch in square root 30 over 4. Okay, so kind of a shortcut way to write all this. Out of space here. Let's write it up at the top. A shortcut way to write these four intersection points would be to write plus or minus 1.369 comma plus or minus 2.475 and you have to realize this is four points positive 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 negative negative positive negative negative the four points that I've four ordered pairs that I've written out here okay let's go look at our graph can you remember these numbers 1.36 2.47 here we go 
1.3692.475. There we go. There they are. The four points that we found algebraically. All right. I hope this helps. Think about the graphs when you're doing this. Think about the intersection points. Keep track of those pluses and minuses because you need the plus and the minus in order to find all the intersection points.